Greetings, my name is Jaime Moloni Mora Muñoz. I'm going to talk to you about uh, this project that is titled Microwave Assisted Synthesis of Plutonium Titanium Dioxide Nanoparticles and its Photoactivity Evolution. In recent years, photocatalysis method has been studied as an environmentally friendly advanced oxidation technology. Titanium dioxide presents a great potential to be used as an ideal photocatalyst for many technological treatment processes. This is due to the many advantages titanium di dioxide catalysis to exhibit. Chemical stability, non-toxicity, low cost of synthesis and high activity for a very significant degradation to reaction of persistent and non-biodegradable pollutants such as textile dye, pharmaceutical traces, heavy weight to organic compounds and persistent microorganisms. Despite the great advantages titanium dioxide catalysis exhibit, it is photoactive only under UV radiation derived from its band gap. Real studies reported that adding a novel metal in the titanium dioxide lattice, such as platinum, significantly improves the photocatalytic activity of titanium dioxide. Nevertheless, these modified materials are synthesized by well-known methods such as salt gel, hydrothermal, etc. However, new synthesis methods have been proposed to improve the physical chemical properties of semiconductors, such as the microwave assisted method, which produces materials with high surface area, small grain crystal size, and different types of morphologies. In this work, we investigated the effect of the, on the physical chemical properties and photocatalytic activity of the synthesized platinum titanium dioxide using the salt gel method technique coupled with microwave assistance. Now we go to the methodology. The synthesis of the titanium dioxide material was achieved through a microwave assisted salt gel method in which we incorporated titanium isopropyl oxide into isopropyl alcohol. The hydrolysis was made through the addition of water in this molar ratio and for the platinum dope materials we added 0 0.1 to 5% uh, of platinum precursor into the water. For the reduction we used sodium borohydride and we assisted the method with an 800 watt microwave at 215 degrees Celsius degrees. For the characterization we used scanning electron microscopy, transmission electron microscopy, X energy dispersive X-ray spectroscopy, bed, the bed equation, the barrett joiner halinser method, the X-ray diffraction, and Raman spectroscopy. The photocatalytic activity of 50 mg of the prepared catalyst was evaluated in the photodegradation of a 25 mg per liter uh, metal red dye solution at a, pot a hydrogen potential of 5 as a model compound. At given irradiation time intervals and after 3 hours of total reaction time, samples of 2 ml were taken out and the color removal was simulated by UVB spectroscopy. And I'm, I'm going to talk to you about the results and discussion of this work, starting by the physical chemical characterization. In the textural properties, we analyzed the nitrogen adsorption, desorption isotherms uh, of the materials. It, they correspond to a GPAC 4 pattern that indicates that it is a mesoporous material with internal nanopores. The super, as we can see, the superficial platinum prevents the nitrogen titanium dioxide interaction, and we can see that the surface area as the pore diameter increases as we increase the platinum load in the materials. Now, for the same analysis, we can observe a rhombohedral geometry, and as we increase the platinum load in the material, we can observe an increase in the brightness on the surface of the titanium dioxide that suggests that platinum nanoparticles are supported on the titanium dioxide surface. In the time analysis of pure titanium dioxide, we have a mean particle size of 24 nanometers, uh, whereas in platinum titanium dioxide, we have a mean particle size of 8 nanometers. In the EDS analysis, we can observe that at 0.1 weight percentage, there is no appreciable platinum signal, while at the other samples, there is high percentage of platinum one analysis. This suggests that the platinum is deposited on the surface of the titanium dioxide, which is in good agreement with the same analysis. Through ultraviolet visible diffuse reflectance, we, can, we calculated the band gap of the material via Kubelka Monk method. As we can observe, there is no significant difference between the band gap values of the material except for the highest load of platinum, which, is, uh, which presents a decrease of 0.02 electron volt. From the X-ray diffraction patterns, we can infer well, that we obtained titanium dioxide in the anatase phase. We also didn't get any platinum signals until the 
highest load of platinum in the, in the material, which suggests that we obtain an homogeneous deposit of platinum in the surface. We also didn't obtain platinum oxide signals in the diffractorons, from which we can conclude that the, the, the platinum didn't suffer any oxidation processes. Through the device shared method, we estimated the crystal size of the materials ranging from 6.8 to 7.3 nanometers. With Raman spectroscopy, we confirmed the anatase phase of the titanium dioxide and we observed a Raman red shift in the normal vibrational mode of the titanium dioxide, which can be attributed to the presence of platinum in the structure. We also have a reduced crystallinity of the material, which is concordant to the data obtained by X-ray diffraction. Now I'm going to present you the photocatalytic activity of the platinum-titanium dioxide materials. For the degradation of material red dye, we obtain 92% of degradation of the dye in different uh, times with different platinum loads, being the best of performance obtained with the 0.1 weight percentage load of platinum material. To assess the effect of the initial concentration of the dye on the kinetics of color disappearance, different concentrations of initial methyl red dye solutions were tested. 5, 10, 25, 40, and 50 mg per liter. These experiments were performed using 0.1 weight percentage of platinum as a doping agent since this proportion showed the best results in the degradation test. The obtained results can be explained using the langwinger hinge model. In all cases, the rate constant decreases as the initial dye concentration of the solution increases. Calculating the value of the absorption equilibrium constant from the intercept and rate constant surface reaction from the slope of the fitted straight line, it is shown that the presence of the dopant enhances the surface rate constant when compared to the undoped titanium dioxide. In the case of platinum titanium dioxide, the rate is enhanced from 0.015 to 0.52 mg per liter per minute. The data analyzed using this model suggests that the dye reacts quickly on the surface of the, of the doped semiconductor materials thus inhibiting the blocking of the active site of the semi semiconductor surface as occurs on the undoped titanium dioxide. To conclude, using platinum to modify the titanium dioxide and employing the microwave reaction method, it is possible to observe changes in surface area, crystalline phase, crystal size, and bang up values of the material. These changes were related to an increase in the photocatalytic activity efficiency. The best material obtained in this work was the titanium dioxide with a 0.1 weight percentage platinum load. Employing this material in methyl red dye degradation reaction, we obtained values as high as 92% of colorant removal after 30 minutes of reaction time. The kinetic analysis suggests that the dye reacts on the surface of the platinum modified materials and prevent the blocking of active sites as occurs with the pure titanium dioxide. The author thanks to the Conacyt for the Master's Scholarship, to the ProDepth-SEP Investigation Fund, and the th to the Thematic Hydrant ne Network of Conacyt.